data triangulation. Action research problem is most of the time unique in every class. It is unique because each class is composed of learners with unique combination of traits and characteristics. That uniqueness of the phenomenon in your class would also entail a unique solution. It is in its premise that there is no single perfect data collection process that can be prescribed for you in order to end with reliable and valid data. However, the triangulation of data would aid you in looking into the consistency and accuracy of your analysis. Triangulation is a process of gathering multiple data through valid ways in order to ensure reliable results. Triangulation is further defined by Nogent et al. in 2012 as using at least three independent windows to observe any phenomenon which helps to ensure quality. Triangulation provides the following benefits. First, it compensates for the imperfection of data gathering tools. Second, when multiple techniques give the same results, it can increase confidence in the results. Third, when multiple resources fail to give the same results, it can raise follow-up questions. Another view of triangulation is presented by William Bruso in 2011. As illustrated in the diagram, there are three methods used in data collection. First, observation. This answers the questions, what do I see as a researcher? The second method is interviewing or journaling. What do my students tell me? And of course, the quantitative data process or method, assessments and tests. This will answer the question, what does a student work tell me? This is an example of triangulating data for action research in reading. Observation notes on reading performance of identified struggling readers in a class. Second is review of reading journals and interview with the respondents. And another method to triangulate data is reading level of respondents as a result of reading assessment using tools.